Hello my wasabis! This is Jerby from College Wasabi. In today's video, I will share with you how to create your own pony facial wash. If this is something that you would want to see, please keep watching. Okay, so for today's activity, you will need... First, you will need your liquid castle soap. I get mine from Casa de Lorenzo. This is the cleansing version. They also have other versions of their castle soap in lavender, peppermint, and other essential oil variant. But I prefer mine to be in the original so that I can mix other essential oils to my preference. Next, you will also have to have your witch hazel toner. You can choose to have the alcohol-based toner or the alcohol-free toner. Since I have the alcohol-free, I will use this for today. You will need some of your carrier oil. The recommended oils are jojoba oil, sunflower oil, grapeseed oil, or sweet almond oil because these oils are non-comedogenic or they have a low comedogenic level. Of course, you will need your foaming container, your measuring cup and a stirrer, and some of your measuring spoons. And for today, I will be using my Zalaroma essential oil. So I'll be using my tea tree oil and lavender oil. You can change the oil up depending on your skin condition. First, you will need 2 3rd cups of your liquid castor soap. And then 1 tablespoon of your carrier oil. This is an optional ingredient. You can add your witch hazel just to prolong the shelf life of your foaming facial wash. So just add half a tablespoon. And now you can add your preferred essential oils. For today, I will be using tea tree oil and lavender. Lavender helps soothe the inflammations on your skin. It's very calming. So you have to put 8 drops of that. And tea tree oil is an overall antiseptic and antibacterial. Just 3 drops of your tea tree oil. If you have acne prone skin, you can choose to put rosemary, juniper berry, or any other essential oils that can help your skin condition. For aging skin, you can also try to use frankincense, enemy, but this formulation works for any skin type. Just give it a little stir. And you can transfer it to your foaming pump container. I'm using a 150ml container. Give it a little shake. There you go. So there you go. Here's my foaming facial wash. If you have any other DIY requests, don't forget to leave them down through the comments or hit me up through Twitter or Instagram. And I'd love to see your suggestions. But before we end this video, I would like to invite you to join me on my workshop this March at Bread, Broth, and Beyond in Mandaluyong. I'll post the poster here and also the registration link below. So it's still an early bird date. Don't forget to invite your friends and sign up and I'll see you there. Anyway guys, I guess that's all for today. If you've enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you've enjoyed this video so much, don't forget to share it in your Facebook wall and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!